Hi, this is Darman, and welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video. In this video series, I'm showing you how to build Stampy's lovely world. And, uh, <laughs> it's a sheep in queue for, for playing the, uh, the flip-flop game. That's hilarious. Uh, yeah, so in the last couple of videos, we've been working on the Bouncy Boats game, and we've gotten, uh, we've gotten, uh, you know, like, kind of the main part of it done. We've got the water, we've got the... The basic outside and we got the little funny uh, froggy faces on top uh so in this video what we're going to do is the redstone redstone alert redstone alert redstone alert yeah big redstone alert um don't be don't don't get too worked up over it it is it is just something we have to be patient and go carefully through okay it, it's it's not altogether tricky but the, the trickiest part is making it fit <laughs> Uh, in, in this spot, uh, it takes a little fancy footwork in uh, in some spots, um, but um, yeah, I, I did a kind of a tester run using you know from you know using this world and and it worked uh, and everything fit and everything should be just fine. So uh, what we're gonna do? There's a sheep in my ear. I can hear him. But, oh, it's you. Yes. Okay. I see you over there. Uh, well, we are gonna start over on this end, which is the purple end. And uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're we're gonna actually kind of we have to we have to sort of build at least part of um, of this area over here. We'll, we'll put the floor in, and then we'll do kind of the tunnel, and then the um, the overall wall here. And uh, the reason we need to do that first is because we need to be sure of the space that we are limited to. Because if we start building redstone willy nilly anywhere, and we go oh, okay, great, it's working, then we have to go back and put in our our. Uh, uh, the, you know, the tunnel here and stuff like that. And we're like, oh, we have stuff is sort of interfering with that. We don't want that to happen. So we're going to do it this way. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to take my purple wool. I'm just going to put it down uh, in all these spaces here that we uh, uh, made before. And uh, really some of this purple wool is never going to be seen. Uh, but that's okay. We'll just, um, we'll build on top of it. Uh, the walls that are going to eventually go around here. But let's fill all this up here. Uh, so there's uh, yeah, it should be one, two, three, four. Yep, uh, four, four things of wool there. Now the wall, when 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 you come in here, the wall is going to be it's going to be here where it, you know where it's kind of like floating right now. Uh, in other words, like you know it's the wall you know is here. When you come in, this is this is where the wall is and the tunnel goes you know through there. So what I want to do is I want to give you we're gonna you know we're gonna build the wall just as it should be, uh, you know with a correct. Uh, you know, lime green and, and regular green. Uh, so let's do this. Let's start with, uh, let's start with the, you know what, let's start with the floor here. So I have all this mapped out here. Let me make sure I get this right. I'm on the purple side and the floor. Uh, let's see, we've got one. I'm going to add two green ones, uh, one lime, and then one more green that meets up there. So there we go. There's our floor. Uh, the ceiling is uh let's see look at the right one here ceiling is one green one lime and then two greens like that okay that's good see how this stuff would really jam like if you were trying to run redstone to this this is, would definitely interfere uh if you didn't already have that in there we we do not want that uh so let's see on this right side here uh let's see we've already got uh three yeah we've got one column of green there so i want to add another column of green we're just going to add three blocks there i'm adding the bare minimum number of blocks um you know that gives us the most room to to add redstone so if we need to add some in here uh we will i, I can't recall if i if i do or not so uh so let's see in the next one we're going to put one green and two limes uh the next one is a lime and then oops no 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 sorry um this should be all this should be yeah this should be three lime there and then we're gonna have green and then we're gonna have a space and then the green this is where the uh the hole is gonna be going for um for placing the uh, you know when you win the game you put the the material in there in this case it is the uh uh, there's going to be gravel on this side and then sand on the other side. So you have to take the gravel from this side, put it over there and vice versa. Uh, so anyway, so then we need to, just to finish this up, we need some lime, lime and green on top of that. And that does that tunnel wall. So over here, uh, we're going to just do two columns of green and 
then we're going to do it's essentially one column of flight line but we're going to leave again one block open like that and then just uh, three of the green like that okay does that look uh, about right yep that's good all right so now we've got our tunnel uh, we'll leave those openings for now. We don't need to uh, worry about putting anything in there right now. Uh, although, uh, let's see, on the, let's see, where's the sand go on this side? It goes on the, yeah, the sand, we're, there's there's going to be gravel, excuse me, gravel. There's going to be a block of gravel in here for the other team to, to come collect and take back. Uh, we're going to leave it out of there for right now. Uh, but we do want a, back, a backing on here, and there should be a green block behind it. I'm just going to temporarily take that one out. Uh, so there should be a green block behind that one. And uh, this is going to be empty uh, because there's going to be a little hole you're going to throw uh, down here and there's going to be a switch and so forth. Uh, but we'll get to it. We'll get to that. Okay, so we, what we're going to do now is just build this wall over to each side and then up to this fourth block wall. It does go higher. It does go higher, but we're just going to do it to the fourth block wall uh, just because that, uh, that will suffice uh, for, for getting, uh, getting this done. Uh, let's see. So, all right. So, well, I guess we'll just start on the left side of this door. Uh, we're going to add a lime green block up here. Uh, and then we're going to put one lime green block here and then add three on top of that. One, two, three green ones. Uh, and then two columns of green, so solid green there. And we're not going to do that one there because it's, the wall is actually going to, you know, it's going to go here, but, um, We'll get to that part later. So let's just do this over here, finish this side. And this is going to be a column of green here. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, I'm going to put one more green on top of there to fill that piece in. And then we're going to do oh, another column of green. And we're going to do two greens and then two limes on top of that on this side. Okay, that's good. So, uh, all right, so now we know our limitations. These things are, you know, have to be here, so we know they have to be here. So now we know anything else uh, is you can you can pretty much fudge it <laughs> to make it work. But we're gonna we're gonna put it in exactly the way he did, uh, at least as 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 far as I can tell. So let's do let's do the same thing on this end, and then we'll start laying the redstone in because otherwise, um, I'm gonna have to pause and get this side done. Um, so this side is yellow. Uh, let's just go ahead and fill all this in, just like we did with the purple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, the new Love Garden. You saw the new Love Garden video, I'm sure, by now. And uh, so this, you know, it's an additional kind of subterranean Love Garden, in, uh, which is what uh, I knew. He, I think he had talked about that in a video, and I, I'd spoken to that to him about that. So yeah, we're gonna have to update that at some point, huh? Um, it's pretty easy, um, and depending on your world, I guess, if you have, if you have like. I don't know what you have down there, or water, or if you have actually, you know, built on a flat world, or well, I'm not sure, but that'll be interesting uh, to, uh, to do that in update videos soon. There's a whole bunch, you know, bunch of changes. So, all right, so we'll do the same thing. Let's do the floor on this one first. Uh, let's see, the floor would be uh, three green total. So we've got one, two, three, and then a lime, and then one green. Oop, one green like that. Okay, so let's see, the right-hand wall is going to be, well, let's see, we've already got that one, those three there. So we're going to add three green, and then here we're going to add two lime, one green on top of that, and one lime. We're going to skip, skip a spot, put a green, uh, another lime above that, and then green, three greens, one, two, three. Okay, this side done. And uh, that just leaves, let's see, we've got those three green there. Okay, lime, we need three of them there. Uh, let's see, one, let's see, two limes, then one green on top of that. And then this is one green, then a hole, and then another green, and then all limes out here like that. The ceiling, uh, let's see, goes, uh, we've already got that there and then we just need a lime two greens and another lime there we go does that look about right okay all right good uh, oh and uh, let's see the opposite side uh everything is opposite on the other side because that's just the way the controls are and where the redstone works so 
Uh, let's see, let me just refresh my memory where the material goes here. Okay, so it goes on this side. So the gravel is going here. So the sand is going to go on this side. Yeah, so right behind here, I'm going to put a, um, a temporarily put one there. And then it should be lime. So this is going to have lime behind it when you put the, um, the sand in. And then, of course, same thing here. This is going to be open, so leave that open just like that. So let's do this wall here. I'll start on the left side. And uh, actually, we're going to start in the middle. Now we're going to finish. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we just put one more piece of lime right there. I'm going to do another column of lime. One, two, three, four. A column of green. And then another column of lime. There we go. This side, we're going to top this one off with another green. And then the next column is going to be two green with two limes on top. And then a whole column of lime and then three greens and one lime on top there we go okay this is good this is good we've got uh yep that's good we've got that all all worked out so uh we just have to you know again remember you cannot go past this wall you know like this is as far as you can go when we put if you decide to go rogue and do whatever redstone you think you want to do do not go past this area because this wall again is going to get taller uh, we're going to do that in, in another video, probably the next one. Uh, so let's get to this now. Uh, okay, so the so let's see. Let's start. Let's start where the game starts. On the purple side is if you were playing the game, there will be a little lever, and it's going to be right here, um, right on the uh, the middle of those three greens right there, and there'll be eventually be a kind of a sign there that says uh, what does it say? Start the uh, I can't remember, but it says to, to start the game. So uh now these this is what this lever does is it uh retracts um pistons which we're going to put in here in just a minute and it also uh, clicks on the dispenser to release a boat and uh the same you know this controls not only this side but it controls the other side too which is why we have to run redstone this direction uh towards that side so that's what we're going to do first is uh how to start the game uh, so we have to actually, you know what, let's put the, um, I didn't grab any pistons. Let me grab some sticky pistons and we'll put them, uh, let's see, I don't, shouldn't need any more levers. Now I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to temporarily, um, I'm going to get, let me get my diamond block out for this, uh, temporarily kind of put a couple of blocks behind here, like right to the right of where the dispenser is, because we have to put the, uh, the, the, um, sticky pistons in but it's hard to do it um without something behind it to get it going ordering the right way so this what we're going to do is we're going to just temporarily knock out these three uh green ones and this is where we're going to put our sticky piston oops see this is the problem you gotta have it oriented correctly there we go like that and like that and like that and now we can put those three back in there uh so we don't want that out here on this yeah, obviously you couldn't do it out here um that's not this first row or column it's the second column that's what gets pushed in and out and if again if you're on the purple side that's going to happen on the right side in and out on this side so now let's get rid of those this diamonds one okay uh so this uh this lever is going to activate uh a chain of redstone which is going to power power everything that needs to to be powered so I'm going to take my green, and this isn't probably that critical as far as what color wool to use, but I'm going to I'm going to give it to you as best as I know, so that uh, if you're looking down, you'll you'll have something that looks pretty normal. You know, it looks like or I should say, looks you know fairly authentic to what he's got. Uh, so I may switch colors of wool as I do the rest of it, which might seem really annoying, but and you don't necessarily have to follow that for this the in your guts and stuff, but I'm I'm just going to do it. Uh, the way I have uh, the pictures here. Uh, so I'm going to take, um, I'm going to just take uh, three pieces of wool here. I should say, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so the, the lever is on the other side of that wool. And uh, so this is going to go, actually, let, let, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So we've got these three here. Okay. So if we're standing kind of over it, we need the redstone to go, oh, this way and kind of around and loop around. So I'm going to have to put two more here. I'm going to put a redstone, a repeater here so that the signal goes into there. 
And then we want signal to also go into uh, the second block. So we're going to put a going to put a piece of green wool right there, and another repeater up here, I believe. Yep, another heat up there. So these actually, and we're going to pull these back all the way. Uh, the thought being is that it will delay this side long enough for the signal to reach all the way over there. So the hope is that the, the doors open at about the same time. That's that's what that's for. It's not critical. Um, but, um, you know, the other side, are, it's going to be basically like this, but with not pulled back. Does that make sense? Uh, okay, so the redstone's going to come around here and then go in like that. There we go. Um, yep, perfect. Uh, and then we need to have it go up as well. Uh, we can't go up here because, you know, obviously we're, we're kind of at an end here. So what we're going to do is make a little step that goes up here. Yes. Okay, we're going to put... Um, Let's see, we'll put a piece of wool here and here, and then we're gonna put two here just above that. And then just make a little, you know, we've already got redstone here, bring it here and there, and there like that. Perfect. Uh, so that already should be, yep, you can hear that, that is closed. There we go, so that's working already. So make sure that's working before you do anything else. Okay, uh, now let's, uh, now at this point we just have to run a little redstone to, uh, you know, to this uh, dispenser for this side, uh, and then we'll have this side for the start mechanism completed. Uh, so I need to need to go back now. This I will need to. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Wonder my green wool. This is actually grass in his, but that's all right. This is fine. We're actually going to put it on this block, not the one. Here, you would kind of think it would be here, then you'd run redstone into there, but that is not the case, because if you did that, you end up powering uh, this piston, and it kind of messes it up. So you're going to bring, be down here like this. It'll work, trust me. Uh, and then just, we're going to we're gonna bring that back to, bring that all the way back to the wall here, just for, just for giggles. And uh, let's see, we're going to put one repeater right against here. We're going to put a piece of redstone here. We need to, oh, that's right. Okay, we need to put a redstone torch, right? Oh, that's so hard to see, I realize. Let me try to pull up here a little bit. So this is the part we did before, right here. And we need to kind of go down here, put the redstone torch there. And we put redstone underneath here like this. So that's, that will, that should always be red like that. And uh, you heard that click if you have, if you're listening to the sound. But that's okay. So when you you do that, it'll you know turn that off. But it will it will dispense whatever's in the dispenser at that point. In fact, um, let me just shut that off and we'll just do a quick little test. I'll put something in the dispenser. Okay, let's just put a let's put this piston in there. Let's see if that comes out. Um, hmm. Okay, so we're beginning the game. We flip the switch. And it should have shot the... No, it did not. Okay, hold on. Let's just double check my my chart here. Um, hmm, this is right... Oh, 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 oh. Um, let me see here. The switch is... Oh, no, this is... Okay, This if this is up... I'm looking at a picture, and I'm like, no, it's backwards. Um, that should work. Let's make sure that redstone is turning off. Uh, okay, it is turning off down there. Uh, it should be, it should dispense it. Let me try it with an actual boat. Let me just make sure. It's not because we didn't use a boat. Uh, where are now? Blazes? Is, oh yeah, transportation. Boats. All these different kinds of boats now. Uh, um, you, ooh, a little sickening there. Alright, let's put a boat in there. Um, okay, so it's closed. Actually, yeah, maybe I had it backwards because it should be closed, and you have to, then you have to flip it up to make the game start. I heard it click. I heard it click. And there's the boat. Okay. So, yeah, I, I think I kind of... I was thinking that this was the normal position for it, but it is not. This down position is where you're going to start because the, the doorway is blocked. That's good. That gives That gives everybody the fairest... Uh, way to start the game. Okay, so that switch should be down when you start the game and everything should be lit up just like this Or in this case not lit up like that. 
probably could have here. You could have probably figured out a way to finagle. I don't know. It's tight uh, to run the redstone down there, but this is the way he's got it. So uh, that's the way we're going to do it. That's how we do things around here. We do it like Stampy does it. Um, okay, so now this side is all done uh, for the start of the mechanism. So we just need to run some redstone down there however we want to, as long as we get it, get it there. Uh, we know that there's redstone here. So what happens is uh, in his, uh, the, the, the redstone signal comes right off of here. So we're going to add uh, a block here. You know, we can just kind of start stepping down. How do I get there? There we go. Stepping down, that's fine. Uh, this part's not very critical as far as how you accomplish it, but going straight down there is fine. Uh, and we already dug this down to the, what, the fifth level? One, two, or one, two, three, yeah, fifth level from the uh, ground level. Uh, so now we just have to run redstone this way. And now what I'm going to do is temporarily, I'm going to flip that switch so that we know, uh, so that the power is going here and we'll know when to, you know, when the, the things get dark. Actually, before we do that, we're going to invert the signal. Actually, we're going to put, let's see, we need a repeater in here somewhere. We're running out of gas. Oops, that's not. Oh, one more. Okay, there. Okay, let's get that signal. We're just going to kind of run. This this doesn't matter how many you put here. Just make sure, you know, you keep seeing that signal nice and strong coming all the way through. Uh, and at some point, it doesn't really matter where, probably somewhere in the middle is probably best. Uh, what he did is he dug out, there's going to be water under here. Yeah, I, I don't really, really feel like fooling with this. Um, he actually dug down and then, um, the, you know, there was ground underneath his. Um, uh, and then he added a redstone torch here and ran redstone under it. And, and that reversed, that flipped the signal. But we can, we can accomplish the same thing. Um, and not, me not have to deal with the water by doing this. Okay, let's pretend that wasn't there. All you have to do is just put a block here that the redstone's running into, put a redstone torch here, which already has shut off. And now we can run, we're gonna keep uh, running the signal. Now, what I'm gonna run back here and, and flip the switch again so that I can make sure that I've got plenty of signal coming back here. So let's just flip that. So now, okay, yeah. So now the signal is coming out of here and I can make sure that I've got enough. See, at some point it starts to fizzle out a little bit. Actually, that works pretty good. Uh, I'm going to add one more, like, let's just, let's just put it here. There, that way we know that's nice and strong. Okay, so we've got the signal coming over this way and we want to do this. So essentially we're going to do the exact opposite over here, but it's simpler because we don't have a switch to activate. All we have to do is to activate pistons, which will be right here in just a second, and activate that um, the boat's dispenser. So, like we did on the other side, I'm going to just up here, one one row over, one column over, I'm just gonna put three uh, blocks there temporarily, go in here and then add, oh, I got rid of them already. I got rid of them already? Oh, goodness. All right, we're not gonna need that. We can get around that. Uh, sorry, so same thing. Except it's the opposite side. The we're gonna take out these three lime ones, put in our dispensers. Will that work? Let's get up a little bit. There we go. And then put our is it lime? I just, re I just realized I did not remember. Uh, yes, lime. There it looks like lime there. Okay, so we've got dispensers or um or pistons. We got our dispenser uh, right below. It's so yeah, all right, so we're going to, again, put a block below here. Uh, we're going to be using lime green here. Uh, just put a couple of blocks there. And again, we're going to put a repeater there and there. And again, no, no, don't pull back on these. Just, just leave it right there. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. This is not a, ah, I just, <laughs> there we go. We need a um, torch there. Um, well, you'll understand why in, in just a minute. Uh, so we need to go, we, we could actually do it the other way, but um, that's all right. We're going to do exactly the way Stampy did it, more or less. Uh, this side is actually one block more shallow in his world, but that's all right. It's, it's not going to cause any problems whatsoever. Uh, so I'm just going to grab some, let's just stick with the lime green. Let's just kind of step this up here, make a little step here. I guess we don't need to come this far. 
uh, with this. Uh, and then we just bring the redstone right into that block there, and it shuts that off. Okay, which is good. Uh, yep, okay. That is just fine. Uh, if you're in Stampy's seed, you, I'm not sure. You're, you've, you've probably had to fill this in with... No, this is actually ground over here. This is actually solid ground. Uh, if you're in his seed world, I believe. Um, <laughs> speaking of seed world, yes. it's my, my seed world is actually done. I'm getting it checked by a couple of people. Uh, some local experts uh, that you may know, uh, and I'll talk about them later, uh, you know, when I go to release that. So, um, and it's been great. We already caught a couple of, couple of uh, mistakes from, uh, from me. So that's good. Uh, and I'm feeling pretty confident about now. And I just, um, I just am finishing up the new Love Garden edition, and then I think I'll, uh, I should probably be able to release it at that point. So very soon, very soon, very soon, it'll be cool. Um, okay, so we want to get back to uh, putting power into these things. So just like in the other one, we have to run power into the bottom one, and then the second one in order to get all three to go. Uh, I think in um, Pocket Edition, it actually works. Like, you can p put power into this bottom one, and it actually powers all three. Or the middle one, and it does power all three. Something like that, where you can, you, it's you don't have to go through all this. But um, And boy, isn't it great to have Redstone in the Pocket Edition now? It's, <laughs> man, I tell you, that's that was missing for so long, and, and we're, happy to, we're happy to have that. Uh, so, uh, we're going to put one block here, and then... Actually, we're going to make this lime. We're going to take that out, put that here, put one here, bring it out this way a little bit. And we're going to put a redstone repeater there. Redstone dust on these two. And so we need to get this power coming up to here. That's down there currently. So we just need to kind of make a little stepping stone. It doesn't really matter what color you use at this point, but I'm going to temporarily put one there and take it back out. And uh, maybe we'll kind of step it down from here and then down to here. Does that work? Okay, let's try it. See how much signal we can get up here. And oh, perfect. Okay, excellent. Um, okay, yeah, so it's only extending the bottom one at this point. Um, so that's the first 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 step there. And then we need a we need a piece of wool right. I'm gonna put it right. Let's see, what should I use? Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter. No, it's not going to show. Okay, uh, so we're going to put it right here. And oops, hold on a second. How do I get that? Oh no, that needs to be at the same level as this. Um, that's okay. We can use. Um, let's just use lime. We'll bring that out to here. Then we're going to go up. Then we're going to kind of tunnel around this way. So we're going to put two next to that top one. Kind of. You know, mimic what we have down here uh, and then just bring the redstone up this little stepping place here and then we're going to bring this around like this and then put the you can hear them activating and deactivating put the repeater here that makes the signal that um you could i wonder if you could what would happen if you just put the redstone here nothing <laughs> absolutely nothing just fyi uh, oh no, wait, but, oh no, it just activates the second one, it looks like. All right, so bringing it around here, and you can see that second one goes back in there, and then see, it's, it, there's a reason for everything. Uh, okay, so now I've got all three extended, yes? Yes, okay, all three are extended, and that's it. So we've got the starting mechanism done. Now we should, let's just double check, go back over here. We're seeing these are closed, so when we do this, oh, let's put a, let's put um, a couple of boats in there. Um, let's use this and put another one there. That'll be fine. All right, let's see here. Oops. All right, so they're closed. Yeah, so this is how it would start the game. Let's put one in here, one over here. So we should see the boats come out after I do this. This is taking forever. I'm sorry. All right. Okay. So now, yep, both sides are open, and I'm seeing boats. All right. If yours is doing this, you're in good shape. So, uh, if uh, and and as such, you can actually you can grab my grass here, 
and uh, we can actually kind of close off this um, oops <laughs> that's too high we can actually put our, our grass back over here on this side at least let's bring it all the way back to there um, can I put it here um, yes looks like it shouldn't interfere with anything there and uh, we'll keep going on over here so this will be nice we can have the side all tidied up mm -hmm. just bring this all the way back to here and uh, uh, yeah looks like we can put that there without interfering with that um, that's fine like that uh, okay there's the starting mechanism is complete now here comes the tricky part so just to go over this, if, you, if you're not completely familiar how this works, uh, you probably are. If you're, if you're bothering to do this at all, you probably are. So when you win, on the other, you go to the other person's side, you grab whatever material is in that box, you come back to your home spot, and you dump it into, where is it? Into here. So you, you, you put it in here like, like, you know, you actually put it, like, you could actually throw it in there and be fine. Um, put it in there and it goes down and act activates a, a trigger, a pressure plate. That pressure plate, uh, makes your tongue go out and then it makes the, it sends a signal all the way down there and activates the dispensers up there to make them cry. Um, the other person's cry. So you're sticking your tongue out, you're crying, which, you know, maybe it's not the, the most socially acceptable thing, but anyway, nevertheless, that, that is how the game works. So you have two signals of redstone and this is important to keep them separate and not touching not interfering with each other that is the tricky part uh, there's not much room in here to get this signal up here uh, so let's um let's see how do we want to start this let's do hmm let's start by carving out like where the little holes you know where you go down you know where the actual Thing trigger so it's on this side if you're on the yellow side we're gonna go right where this uh, the second column with his two greens and uh, we're gonna poke a hole down here and we're gonna do yeah we're gonna go down two more actually I'm gonna grab my yellow again I need that and uh, this should be one yeah block out that one yellow and then just kind of fill these sides in with yellow do, 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 do. and we need a little ladder over here this may be a bit more detail than we need at this point, but that's, I don't want to forget to put it in here. Okay. So this is where the hole is. You go down here, you'll be to be able to access, you have to shut the game off. Uh, but this is also where the, the trigger goes. So the trigger is going to go right underneath the hole where you're going to put it. And it's going to go right, you know, one block in, it's going to line up right with this. Uh, so in the floor of here, we want to have two limes. And then the walls on the left side are going to be all lime. The wall in front, you want to have this, this should be two blocks here. The wall in front of it uh, needs to be, I'm just going to put something there. Two limes there. Uh, this part is open, has to stay open, obviously. Uh, and then on the right side, it looks like it is a lime there. Let me get rid of that. And then uh, green here and here. Okay. Uh, what we'll do is we'll put a uh, we'll put a torch right. Mm, where shall I put it? I don't need my sticky pistons. Uh, we'll put the torch right. We can put it. We could put it just about anywhere, but um, let's just put it here. And so what'll happen is if you've got sand or gravel and you put the block here, um, there'll be a back wall here. And uh, it'll fall down, and this this torch will make it turn into a you know like a regular sort of block like this. Or well, that was probably not a good example, but you know like how these just kind of float there, these tiny little you know versions of whatever it is. Uh, so do that. Let's put this wooden pressure plate right there. Um, so we need to extend this up a bit so that we don't so that we do not miss. So behind, yeah, behind here is, uh, this is all going to be, uh, let's see, on the yellow side, this is, uh, yeah, it looks like it's all green. So we're going to put a green block above and two behind, 
and then yeah on this side as well we got the pressure plate in there right yep okay Put those two in there so that when you're inside all you see in here is just uh, like green like that and uh, there'll be these lime greens here and here and there that's fine uh, yep that'll work uh, so if I get a piece of gravel uh, I'll just grab sand since I know where that is really easily um, all right, I get ready. So you can either throw the material in there, or if you put it there, it'll. Oh, really? It doesn't fall with the candle. That's weird. It doesn't fall with the. Really? Okay. Uh, wow. How did I do that before? Okay. Let me just take a peek at this here. Uh, maybe I need to move that down one. Let's move that torch down there replace this back here let's try that one more time so I'm pretty sure sand still falls and uh, there we go and uh, you'll see that it turned into a little block like that or like I said if you have a little um, block and you can just probably just throw it in there same same result uh, but that way you know if whoever you're playing with uh, does it either way it'll it'll work just fine and that'll be uh, hatch on top of that so let's uh, let's grab that and let's put that there don't want to forget to put this on there okay all right so that's that uh, so now so that that trigger is <laughs> now I have to look where is that thing okay it is okay it's under that one I'm gonna leave that off for now just so you, you may want to also just so you can easily see where uh, where that thing is. So we're going to need to take out this block. And uh, so we have to, let's see, we're going to build it up from the ground here. We'll just put a couple of blocks there. We need an empty space there like that. Uh, so we're going to put one redstone blob right there. And then we're going to put a, another green block right up against the wall, like as if we were going stepping up, but we're not actually stepping up anything. We're going to put redstone torch like that. And then we're going to take another, this is where it doesn't really matter what you, what material you use here. I'm just using this since it's in my hand. We need another redstone blob in there. And then underneath here, we're going to leave, we're going to put one block here and then put a redstone. Uh, oops. Redstone, I said here. Uh, and then we're going to bring this trail out. Uh, we're going to start heading that direction. And for this one, we're going to take it out all the way to this wall. We want this to be the signal that goes out. It's going to run along this side, and the other signal is going to come back uh, right along there. So there'll be, a, you know, this should be three blocks wide. We did that in the last video. Uh, so if I put something on here like that, and um, there, and it's going to put power to it. So that's good. It'll make it easy to make sure we can run, don't run out of power at any point. They're getting darker, and it looks like they're expired. So let's just put a repeater here. And it's going to keep running. Oh, I have to do a, do I have to do a flip switch on this one? No, it doesn't look like it. I'm just going to keep going as far as I can. It's usually like 15 blocks and then it, I think that's as far as it goes, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's keep bringing out this way and that's fine for right now. That's, that's good enough. We'll deal with that. Um, actually, do we want to do that now? We can deal with that now. Um, you know what, let's not. Let's just do one side completely. So let's say this uh, this redstone trail comes up here and does all the good stuff it's supposed to do. Uh, and then if this person wins over here and they put their piece of gravel, I think it is, or sand, whatever, over here, then it's going to trigger and send signal back here uh, to do that. So let's, um, yeah, let's do let's do this and run the signal back over here. So. Uh, then this one, yeah, right here at this, where this green is, we're going to dig down here. One, two, three. Uh, oh, I got to get some, get my purple back here. Um, I'm going to need all that. Um, and that's all right. I'll just use that. I'm going to regret that. I'm sure. Okay. And change this out to purple, 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 put some ladders, ladder, ladder. Here we go. Okay, so uh, that hatch goes down into here. And we just need to come out and grab our green, a couple of green. I think this one's actually grass, but that's all right. Uh, green there. 
And under here, we're going to put a one block there and a block here. Okay. So then the trigger is going to go right here. I'm going to go down. That's going to activate this. We're going to, this is weird, but put a redstone repeater there. And we have to put a torch here, but that, that's for something else. That's for sending the signal up to the, the tongue, which we didn't do on the other side yet. So let's, we'll deal with that in just a minute. Uh, so now this is, this is a kind of a strange little piece here, but put redstone here and here. Yeah. And then we're just going to bring it out. This is the signal that's going to go back. So for now, this will, this will do over here for, for just a moment. Um, and you're not going to want to put on here. You would think this would work and actually it kind of does work. You can see it lights up everything and it shuts off that. Why is it not? Yeah, I think that's the problem. It's this causes kind of a loop. So for some reason, this works just like this. Like if I put something down there, you can see it goes and shuts off. And if you, if you actually put that, it does not, it doesn't shut off. That was a, took me a while to figure that one out. <laughs> that one's a weird, it's a weird, weird, weird little spot. Uh, but for some reason that works. I have no idea why exactly, but that works. <laughs> not, not a clue how the electricity is coming out of that. Right, sorry, Peter. Anyway, so let's go back here and again, let's uh, temporarily put some piece of power here. Let's, let's just put a torch there just so I know when I run out of power, I can just put down another uh, repeater. And do I have any? Yeah, it does need to flip uh, power polarity at some point. Uh, let's see. Let's just see how far this goes. Yeah, it looks like that's good enough there. Mm -hmm. Let's bring this along. Uh, you know, let's just do this here. Uh, I'm just going to use a green piece of wool, put a redstone torch on the other side, and then continue my redstone. That should be plenty. Uh, so now I'm going to take that power away so I can still see the power. Make sure it gets all the way down here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave it right there for right now. That's good. Um, okay. So now we're going to kind of walk up. Yeah, I might have to back that off one. Yeah, we're going to have to go up against this wall here that we've already built. We're going to have to go straight up, which means building an alternative, alternate, um, i take some green here and we are going to, yeah, it's going to go right up here. So I'm going to back that off one there. Uh, I'm going to put just a block there and a little staircase up to here. And I'm going to make a kind of column. Not sure how high it has to go. Let's let's just let's just bring it up to here. We'll find that out in just a second. <laughs> uh, okay, so that goes into there. So we're gonna take out the one above that. Then every other one. Uh, I guess we probably don't need that one there. <laughs> just my guess. Uh, let's see. So that black. Th this doesn't really interfere. This having this corner here. Uh, should be fine. And that one just clicked off over there. That's all right. Okay. So that's the power is going into this block, which is turning that one off. And then that one will be on this one will turn off. Yeah. So it should be three torches working in sync. I don't, don't really need that one, but we can leave it there. It doesn't really, uh, matter. So this top one here, yep, that stays and that's still green. Yep. We're going to add another, we're, in, we're getting in kind of the area where it matters what's green and what's lime. So I'm going to kind of give that to you as I go, uh, cause it's sort of visible. If you don't really care, it doesn't, doesn't really matter, but it would only be if you were like up here and look, you know, looking down, there's kind of these little holes you can sort of see down. Uh, so I'm going to add one green here. We're going to, Oh, I gotta get, gotta get my lime back. I can see I'm kind of running out of time too. Uh, but let's get at least, one trail done and uh might have to come back and finish this up next time uh let's see so we're gonna put one lime there and then we're gonna put another green one here uh okay and that's already there okay so uh we're gonna put a piece of redstone up here so this should be dark right now yeah we're just gonna sneak around here over to here and it's gonna go uh, redstone lamp, uh, lamp, a torch here. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to take it. I'm going to, I'm going to go up using my green for right now. I'm going to build a little column that goes up to just below the, you know, these mechanisms. I'm going to put, um, two there. 
one in the middle, and you've got this this piece here. Uh, so this uh, this bottom one here is going to be redstone torch. Then we're going to bring the signal straight up. We're going to get rid of that piece, put a torch there, and then just put redstone signal to these guys here. Okay, so if we take a little water, let's take our water buckets, and I'm going to regret getting rid of all this. That's all right. I'm going to put water buckets in each of these. Let's test this out. Doesn't matter where you put it, because it's in there somewhere. Um, so if I click over here in the purple one, I should have a very sad yellow frog. Uh, if I just, uh, it doesn't even matter if something stays on it, it just, I'm just going to drop this onto it. There we go. It's, you can see the power is going. And oh, boo hoo hoo. The yellow one is, is very sad. Oh, and there goes the boat. Yeah. There goes the boat. So. Uh, in order to make this stop, taking it off isn't just enough. You have to actually step on it um, again. And then that will shut it off, you can see. So just picking up the material is not enough. You do have to step on it. Like when you're, when you're actually playing the game, you'll be going down here and picking it up and then just step on it uh, one last time once you pick it up. If you don't already, just come up here and make sure that it's being turned off of the water, slowly going down. So that's excellent. That's working on that side. Um, if I take some water buckets and put them in, mine's will date do that now. Make it a lot easier to test this. Okay, let's keep that handy. So uh, the only thing left to do on the yellow side is the redstones for the tongue sticking out. Uh, so I'm gonna have to get I know I'm going to have to take that red wool block out of there temporarily. Uh, where's my sticky pistons? Oh yeah, that's right. I got rid of them. Right. So I'm going to, um, now I'm just going to, I'm going to take red block. I'm going to add two more just temporarily behind here. And I'm going to go around front and put, take two out, put the red sticky piston back in, put the red back in. There we go. Now it's oriented correctly and I can get rid of that one. And so this redstone signal that is going that way also is going to come up here and uh, power this. And you can practically do this any way you want. Uh, but you can see we've already got this redstone lamp torch right here, which was we put in earlier, which you probably didn't understand what it was for. That's what this is for. This is going to come straight up here, and uh, then we can activate that. What we're going to do is put a piece of lime wool right here kind of kind kind of diagonal to it put a green wool uh column coming straight up here so we just have to kind of do every other one uh, it gets hard to maneuver around in here come up here oh, here we go um let's come down here and we just add our torches in between so we can just carry the signal straight up and one more it looks like uh oh no one more and then yeah, green here, and then a blob of redstone here, and then a redstone torch next to it. There we go. So, um, is this working correctly? The, t the tongue is out. No, tongue. Why is the tongue? Oh, the tongue is, <laughs> it's actually out, but the thing is retracted. So let me just, um, can I just... Get it to stick this time. Okay, there we go. Now it's otherwise I could just chop that red off and put it back in there. All right, so the tongue should be in at this point um, because we have not won. You can see there's nothing on this on the pressure plate. So if I put something on there, it should activate the tongue. There we go. And at this point, it it would normally be activating the the crying, but we're, we're not worried about that because we did not hook up that part of the redstone yet. Woo! This is killer, right? Uh, so it's, it's a little complicated. Um, all right. So yeah, so that trail, just to kind of summarize this trail of redstone is going over here. It's going up. I have no idea what that blob is for, but I saw it there. So I put it in there. Um, I don't think it makes any difference whatsoever, but I'm leaving it there. So that powers this, uh, column of redstone that goes up to the tongue and it also comes out and powers 
way over here it will power um, the crying on this side once we once we get that part uh, so then this one is going to uh, uh, you know same thing so it's going to power the tongue here and then it's going to well actually it's already it's sending power to over here to make the uh, eyes cry so this side the redstone is all done the yellow side we are done and we're well about halfway done the purple side then we're, we're gonna have to call this a video i was hoping to get all this done in one video but uh it is just not going to be the case i don't want to drag this on too long so in the next video we will be finishing up the redstone uh we will at very least be building the side the rest of the flat sides um and um which includes like this part out here and hopefully we'll at least get to um I see your tongue sticking out. That's very, very rude. Am I, does there some, oh yeah, there's something still on there. Get out of here. I should, you know, <laughs> I should leave it there. I should have left it there and done the end of the video there. Wait, I'm going to, it's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to end my video right there. I'm going to put that there. There we go. So, uh, yeah, so we'll just keep moving along and we've got, we do got quite a bit of detail, but quite a bit done already. So let's see. I will stand here and say that I, whoa, I'm in the back of my head. I'm, oh no, I'm <laughs> No, no, let's see. Can I get up here without changing my view? Uh, backwards and then let go. There we go. I'm Tarman68. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!